Thank you, Jonathan. Now, this school year, one student will be going to high school after struggling academically during part of middle school. Janae struggled socially and academically after her family moved from New York to Jacksonville. She fell behind in her classes, getting C's, D's, and F's even. She also started hanging out with the wrong crowd. And that's when her mother turned to Achievers for Life by the Jewish Family and Community Services. Things definitely took a turn there, and we'll talk about that. Joining us this morning, Jeannie Burton and Chris Atkins with Achievers for Life. So we saw this young girl go from struggling to C's, D's, and F's to then joining your program and turning things around. Talk about that. I mean, what a great success story. Well, Janae moved from New York down to Jacksonville. When she came to our program, she was very shy, but she was also struggling like academically and socially. So what happened was her mother reached out to the Achievers for Life program, which is operated by Jewish Family and Community Services, to get Janae help. Um, so what we did was we provided her with the tools that she needed to turn her grades around. And so Janae started coming to us. We provided her with the services and resources that she needed to get the help. And she turned out making A's, B's, and C's. That's great. Yeah, very, very, very great, great. So what are some of those tools? How can you help a student who is struggling um, within your program? Well, the, the idea of the Achievers for Life program is to wrap services around both the student and the parent so that the parent can stay engaged and know what's going on. So most parents, especially coming in at sixth grade, are going to be nervous, yeah. more nervous than their students. And we want to make sure that they get academic assistance, they have all the supplies that they need. The parents know what's going on and know how they can be involved because the more parent involvement we have, the better success, more successful a student can be. And we want to make sure to remind you parents out there, and I asked before you came on, is this only for Jewish families? And it's not, right? This is for anybody. So talk about that, how many people you actually serve that are not, in fact, Jewish. Well, last year we served almost 1,300 students wow. last year over 10 middle schools. And so because we're funded by United Way, we have the benefit of helping any student coming into sixth grade all the way through seventh and eighth grade make sure that they have the skills that they need so that by the time they get to high school they're more than well prepared and as well as keeping the parents informed on how they can be involved keeping that parent involvement so again the student can be successful in school and Jeannie talk about how crucial that age is to middle school it's such a tough time for kids in general but it really is crucial grade wise to really set your future. A lot of people think high school, but really middle school is what sets the page. Yes, once they enter um, sixth grade, there's a huge trans transition. Um, there's the peer pressure. They experience, may be experiencing bully. So we provide them with social support in addition to the academic support. So we're there for them if they need any services, you know, just to help them with that transition. It's very, very important. And if you're meeting with a student, is it a group thing or one-on-one? -on -one? How does that go if you're trying to work with these kids? It's really depending on what the need of the student is. It can be one-on-one. -on -one. We do pull groups into our classrooms. The benefit is we have such a great relationship with Duval County Public Schools that we have classrooms in the schools. So we can pull groups in, do some group work, but also do that one-on-one. -on -one. So when a kid is really struggling in math or reading, we can help them one-on-one, -on -one, make sure that they get the attention, and then inform the parent of exactly what we're working on so they can do that at home. Okay. And so if somebody's out there watching and thinking, gosh, I need to get my kid involved, I need to get involved, this is something that sounds like it's for us, how would they do that? How would a family do that? They would just need to call Jewish Family Community Services and uh, they can just say we're interested in signing our child up and we're in 10 different middle schools in Duval County, so more than likely your child's going to one of the middle schools we're at. And then we would contact them, a staff like Jeannie would contact them. And you work specifically with each family, sorry to cut you off. Okay. You work with the families, you're kind of like a, they're, they're a person that they go to, right? Yes, I'm the family advocate, so I maintain contact with the family um, to make sure that they're, you know, need, that they have what they need okay. um, for school and for their family for success and stability. Perfect. You both were wonderful. Thank you for coming on today. Pleasure. Hopefully some families out there will, will get involved with the program and make a difference in their kid's life too, just Hopefully like Janae. So. Proud of you, Janae, if you're out there watching. And to learn more about the Achievers for Life program, head to jfcsjax.org. We've made it easy for you. Posted the link on our website, newsforjax.com. Take a look under our morning show page. Zach?